So hello everybody. I hope everybody's had a great week so far. Um, today we're taking a look at this M2681 Pershing heavy tank and 140 and 135 scale from Hobby Boss. Now Hobby Boss seems to do pretty well with their armor models, but some of their aircraft are iffy. Um, I would rather buy Hobby Boss than uh, a Ravel or a Talarai actually. Even though our some of our Talarai kits are okay too. Now we have some nice box art here. A couple tanks. Here we have on the side, we have a, fin a picture of the finished tank, even though it doesn't look all that finished. Um, and you see we have some photo etched with it, just a couple of photo etched parts, looks like the grills. And another picture of the, uh, the finished tank with the, uh, shows the decal placement, some of the detail. So here's our the paint diagram that they always include in Hobby Boss kits, which I find pretty nice. Like I said before, you could hang up on on the wall. It's a nice little poster. Looks like there's only one version to build here. Four colors: steel, olive drab, green, and silver. I don't know where the green is supposed to go. And their olive drab doesn't really look very much like olive drab. Well, let's take a look at the instruction sheet. So here we have our sprues. We have our suspension A. There's two of them. So there's nine sprues of plastic. Uh, the upper hole looks like it comes separately. And the lower hole in the turret top looks like it comes separately as well. You have your, we have rubber track here, a small fret of photo etch, and the decal sheet. So here we start uh, with the road wheels, support rollers, sprocket. We put on here these, this, uh, it looks like where the drivers, driver and gunner sits. Um, suspension assembly here. Here's the side pieces for the hull. A sprocket hub. Road wheel arms. Support roller arm as well. I mean the uh, idler wheel arm as well. Same thing on this side. Same steps. And here we have some more of the suspension detail. Putting the road wheels on and the sprocket. So here we're doing the track. It has an engine. Kind of cool. Don't get that off in the tanks. Engine transmission. The whole thing here. Here's the cooler. Here's the intake, I think. This wall. And another one. These are numbered. This is C. Exhaust. I'm looking for that piece. It says E. There's F. Uh, this one, E. So these are all sub assemblies. You have to pay attention to the numbers here to know where it goes. Because this is the sub assembly E here. Here is some key. Some of our PE parts, okay, a couple more parts to put in here. And here's the engine and everything. And this looks like the back piece, the back plate.
Yeah, putting it on the plate. And the lights, the rear lights, tow panel and the shackles, shackle mounts, radio box. Here's our skirts, the uh, fenders, and toolboxes here. Full machine gun here. Some of the front detail with the, sh the tow panels and shackle mounts and everything. Periscopes and some of the side armor. Here we're doing the fender detail, the fender brackets, tow panel, uh, uh, tow hooks, front lights. These, uh, the uh, traverse lock for the gun, front hatches. Uh, the grills, the grills in the back here, and the cap for the machine gun here in the front, and the protectors for the lights. And here we are, some more of these vents and stuff in the back, as well as here for the uh, tow cables and stuff. And we assemble the hull, put the toolboxes on, the front fenders, a couple of smaller details there. As well, here we start with the hull, I mean, with the turret, a symbol of the anti-aircraft gun, the commander's cupola, and some more of the turret detail around here. Same thing here, we've got the hatch, antenna mount, and some of the side detail for the turret. We have a spare track. And some, uh, some, some of the other details here. Here we're assembling the gun tube and the mantle. And then we put it, we put the rest together, put the gun on, put the mantle on, put the turret on the tank. And here, a couple more small parts go on the fenders. And then we have our completed tank. So here we have our decal sheet. Pretty simple. We have the the unit symbol, the turret number, and the stars. All in white except for the unit uh, number. So it's going to be hard to see. Yeah. They look thin enough. They look pretty good. But like I said, I'm not sure if that unit number is really right. I'm going to have to take a look on the internet and see. Let's take a look at these parts. Here we have first the track. It was folded in half in the box, so it's bent, but it should be okay. Leave it out in the sun, maybe a little bit. Let it get warm. Probably go back into shape. And see, we have pins. These are not melt together pins. You have to glue this together. Probably with uh, super glue would be best. Both sides are, are really nicely detailed, though. I don't see any really big problems. Actually, I don't see no problems at all. It's a nice molding. There is a little bit of slash there in the middle, but you could probably take a hair dryer and get rid of that. You can see both sides are detailed. Nice looking track for some rubber track. So here is the bottom of our hole. See, we have some nice detail here, although there is a couple up here at this point and here at this point that has to be um, cleaned up. There are the pin marks. It's textured. We have the hatches on the bottom. Some nice bolt detail around here. Nice looking hull. So here's the top of the hull. Once again, it's textured. It has this really ground ground look, like it's it's the, the, it's the right look. That looks nice. There's a number here, 415. Fuel cap. Here's fuel caps here. Three of them. We have the numbers here. The the, the whole number. That's that's pretty cool. Nice nice detail. You see here the texture around here. 
don't know if you can see it really good, but it's really, it has a nice texture to it. The top of the turret, same with the texture, it's a nice texture, nice cast turret look. And a bit of a flash here, already gone, not a big problem flash. You see they put the, they put the sink mark in here even, some clean up here. Where they took it off the tree with the sprue. Also a turret, a turret number there. So here we have our two trees with the suspension road wheels. Nice. The ridges are there for the. Uh, the ridges are good. We have nice bolt heads in the middle, this side as well. Here's our sprocket hub, it looks nice. Nice looking details. Road wheel arms look nice. Here we have pin marks on the back here, on both sides. May not be a problem. Not going to be that's where it's glued together, or where it goes together, so it's not going to be seen. They put the pin marks in the right place. The pin marks also on the back of the support rollers here, but just on this side. And they have texture on both sides where it's you know, sunk in and everything, so that's nice. So here's a couple small sprues. This has our gun tube, which looks pretty nice. It's even textured. How well it'll fit together, I'm not sure. But considering how I think the kit looks so so far, pretty good. Here we have our extra track and some of our travel lock for the gun and some other other detail. It looks nice. The track links look nice too. Have, have the detail on both sides of it. It's nice. Sometimes you see they only put texture on one side of it, which is kind of dumb. So here we have our sprockets. Nice detail inside. See it has a separate hub. Some more extra track links. Looks like an ammo box. And parts for the machine gun here. <coughs> Antenna mounts and such. The back is also nicely detailed here. Here. So here are our skirts, hatches for the back, the engine hatches and stuff, um, toolboxes. This is the front. You see they have some nice uh, molded in looking hinges there. Handles are the these are the, the, the crane where they can put the where they hook the crane on. If they want to take the turret off. <clears throat> nice looking molding here oh, everywhere. Detail on both sides. Now the inside of the skirts have pin marks. Probably fill that in, sand it down. Here we have some of our turret detail, hatches here, the mantle, you see it also has a, it has a mold, the number there, the casting number, and it has a nice texture to it, commander cupola with, with texture, it doesn't have separate periscopes, it just has these windows there that you have to paint, hatches, some protective parts here, the small stuff. The back piece, 
Nice texture everywhere on the kit. Nice looking bag here at the end of the gun. Whole machine gun looks nice. The NRF craft gun looks nice. 50 cal here. Even though the holes could be a little bit better there. These air holes. They're kind of not quite deep enough. Well, this side they're not molded very well. This side looks better. On the top they're not molded well either. Too bad they couldn't add in a, a piece of photo etch to put around it. That would be nice. So here we have the the whole insides here. Here's the bottom plate, the piece that goes on the inside, where a lot of our uh, in interior detail goes. And ventilate the fans, not so, they're okay, they're going to be covered anyways. The exhaust here, not uh, hollow on the ends. I guess it's kind of hard to do, but they may be, you can probably drill them out, get a pin vise, drill them out. They're not that small, so. Here's a lot of our interior parts with the, the engine and everything. Fan belts. Periscopes here, I think. Or no. Those are also engine parts. A lot of interior parts for it. The fuel tanks, I believe. And here is our last sprue. We have the fenders. Nice bolts along it. Hatches. Nice texture. There's a loader's hatch. Bottom of the turret, also with texture. Some, a lot of our smaller detail parts here. They were covered with the foam. Also details on the inside of the hatch, so you can leave the turret open actually. Even though there's no turret detail inside, unfortunately. We have pin marks here on the bottom. Some really, really big pin marks here on the bottom of the fenders. That's going to have to be pinned up. Probably filled and sanded as well. Okay, so that's all the parts. A lot of parts. A pretty big kit. Oh, that's not all the parts. <laughs> Get the photo etch still. I forgot. But it's only two pieces. Only two pieces of photo etch here. Not even worth taking out the bag, really. But it looks nice. Um, so it's a really, really nice looking kit. I really recommend this. This has definitely an A. Um, I see no problems with it. It's textured. The track is, even though it's rubber track, it looks good. Um, I really do recommend this kit. So thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, and next time we'll take a look at this German railway gondola type OMMR with the anti-aircraft gun crew in 135 scale from Dragon. Big name. Well, this part is pretty much finished. I got the uh, machine gun and the 20mm uh, flat fielding for it already, and it's, it's assembled and everything. Even though unfortunately, on one of these side doors, the pin broke off, unfortunately, and I'm trying to figure out how to fix that. But so next time, next video, we'll take a look at that. So thanks for watching. Until then.